We are moving on to leadership reports. Jeff, you are first. All right. So the first thing on the agenda that I'd like to talk about is the elementary school nominee for the Grinspoon Award. Um, the Grinspoon Award, or the Grinspoon nominee this year is Josh Driver. He is a fifth and sixth grade teacher uh, who teaches ELA and social studies. Um, Josh is an incredibly engaging teacher, challenging, um, really does a great job with differentiating his instruction to meet the needs of all of the students. Um, he regularly uh, incorporates technology, the use of the new technology that we have in the building in the last couple of years to really enhance his instruction. Um, he uses a lot of different resources um, that we have that are technology related to enhance the curriculum and <coughs> a highly respected colleague in the building um, and so it was a uh, very easy election this year and um, delighted that um, he was supported by the my fellow administrators. Um, standard based report card of giving you an update um, and I believe some of this information is in your um, your report. So I'm going to just go down through this. Um, the report card is in great need of being revised and updated to include the new learning standards that are connected to the common core. The report card committee has collected many report card samples from schools in Massachusetts as well as other states. Um, the report card committee has reviewed the different formats, the grading and the effort rubric, rubrics. Uh, the new report card templates are in the process of being developed. The learning standards from the Common Core are being identified for the new report card. The areas that will be primarily uh, included are literacy, um, and you can see in your handout, I won't go down through the individual bulleted item, but mathematics, science, social studies, um, and then we will also be having a grading rubric for physical education, music, and art, as well as student responsibilities. Um, the grade K through six teachers are in the process of working with the report card committee to select the learning standards for the fourth quarter student progress report, or excuse me, progress, yeah, report card. Um, each grade level will be producing a report card uh, containing standards for that particular grade level. It is the intent of the report card committee to present the superintendent and school committee the proposed standard-based report card templates for each grade level at the <coughs> April meeting. Uh, for your review, the goal is to have the school committee approve the new standards-based report cards for the implementation of next school year. Uh, Jeff, yes. Is this for the older grades in the elementary school? It is K, K to six. So, but I thought we were moving to a three time. There was discussion about three terms, but you are going to vote this tonight, I believe, on the new school calendar. Right. And so we were not at this point ready to present that. So in the future, we would like to move to that, but it would not be until the following year. So, and it would be a, a simple matter of just changing from four to three, okay. um, but this time around, so, so this, the learning standards and, and um, everything related to the report card, the meat and potatoes are happening now, and then we'll, we'll plan to present that to you next year, okay? Thank you. All right. Any other questions regarding the report card? Okay. Um, the progress report on NIAC. Um, we are preparing for the accreditation visit, which will happen sometime this spring. Um, NIAC will conduct a review of the Headley Elementary Kindergarten program to determine if it meets the criteria for their accreditation. Schools that receive funds for the 701 full day kindergarten grant must participate in NIAC accreditation process to be eligible for these funds. How often? Every five years, we must go through it. So myself, Dr. <coughs> McKenzie, and the kindergarten teachers, Patty Lord and Amy Hermans, we have been diligently collecting the vast amount of evidence for the hundreds of NIAC identified criteria areas that comprise the four-step program. Four-step programs is step one, which is the enrollment and self-study. Step two is the application and self-assessment. Step three is the candidacy program. And step four is the meeting and maintaining the standards. We have completed steps one and two. We are ongoing right now, focus work on step three. NIAC's accreditation visit will be step four. NIAC will come to the elementary school sometime in late May or early June. There's a three week window and they usually will give us 48 hours notice of the day that they'll, they'll appear um, for their site visit. 
Um, when we receive NIAC accreditation, it will be good for a five-year period before having to do this again. Sorry, I preempted you That's on okay. that. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, some great news. If you read the newspaper, the Gazette, uh, on March 13th, representatives from Steve Lewis Subaru visited the elementary school and presented to Roxanne Downey, who is our PTO president, a check for $29,264 from the Subaru Corporation's Share the Love. Essentially, any vehicle that was purchased or leased, um, there were a number of national and local uh, nonprofits or charities that the buyers or leasers could identify as the, where they would like their $250 to go to. We were selected by Steve Lewis Subaru, our PTO was, um, to be the local charity. Um, we were absolutely astounded, blown away by the amount. Um, this was a one-month program, basically from beginning of December to the end of December. Um, and so the representatives came to the school, presented this check to an all-school assembly. We had all the kids there who had banners with their names signed and were wearing um, the heart with, you know, share the love hearts. It was really nicely done. Steve Lewis was, um, and his representatives were there very appreciative. Uh, we were able to, a very nice article that followed up the next day in the Gazette. Um, we had Channel 3 that did make their, um, <coughs> they came to cover it and there was a short piece that night in the, in the news. So um, the PTO has designated a portion of these funds um, to be able to allow us to complete what we need in our fundraising to install a climbing wall which we will install this summer and I know that a portion of the funds will be designated towards the pavilion which has been a project in I guess many years of planning and so that's where we are with that. Um, Mr. Udall, if I may, just to yes. clarify with that, as we've discussed at previous school committee meetings, that there is nothing that would occur with the building and grounds without right. first having gone through the building and grounds subcommittee and before the entire school committee. And Roxanne Downey is well aware of that. She's on board with that, and the PTO completely understands that. I think it's more of an expression of if it is the will of the school committee, that they stand ready to support the school committee, but it certainly would right. not be uh, decided until such time as the school committee had voted. Yeah. Um, and the last item that I'll report on is the kindergarten registration for this year coming up. Um, there are two registration dates, April 15th and 16th. Um, on April 15th, Registration will take place between 9.30 and 12.30, and then again in the afternoon from 6, excuse me, 4 to 6.30, and then the following day on the 16th between 12.30 and 3.30. Town census numbers are running at about 32. We have found that they're not always reliable, um, but we are looking at our numbers being somewhere in the, in, at least in the mid-30s. Uh, parent orientation for those that have registered will be May 22nd at 10 o'clock a.m. I don't know if you have any questions regarding that or not. What's the size of our kindergarten class this year? We are at 31. And that's with some choice in or um, that's 31 Hadley? 30 Hadley and I think one that was a school choice. Yep. Maybe That's all I had. I don't know if anybody has any questions. Mm -hmm. Have we finalized our school choice numbers yet for this year? We have not. I'll be bringing that before the school committee in April. Mr. Udall and I met. Hopkins Academy is pretty clear on where they'd like to go. Mm -hmm. Mr. Udall and I had a conversation about what may make sense at the elementary, but what I wanted to do, and I'm already scheduled to do a faculty meeting with the Hadley Elementary staff in uh, the second week of April prior to our next school committee meeting. So I certainly want to get some staff feedback on what we had talked about and why we had thought about it. Then we'll bring it to the school committee after staff has weighed in. And yep. the school committee will finalize the numbers. If I can make one other comment that's mm -hmm. not on the agenda. I want to thank Dr. McKenzie today for her help with the staff and the students. Um, she went up and beyond what normally superintendents do with her personalization, with her sincerity and um, genuineness, and it was greatly appreciated by myself and all of our staff. 
Uh, we had a very difficult day, an emotional day, especially for those students in the upper grade levels, as well as a lot of our staff. So, Dr. McKenzie, thank you very much thank for you. everything you did today. Thank you.